Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the Libazila products. Um, technically already unboxed, but not really unpacked. But you know how it is. You open boxes and you don't really know what's going on. But we are going to figure out everything that's here in this cool box from Libazila and check out all of their products and see like cool first look at some of the cool stuff that they sell that is in this box. So let's begin with a blank canvas and let us start with this whatever this is everything you can see comes in this really cool plasticky bubbly wrap which I can easily recycle and it keeps everything nice and safe during transit so here we can see we have a wine red blindfold and Oh no, I didn't think this through with all the plastic on this. You know, there was probably something to be said about bringing something sharp over here to do this. So, but unboxing is an unboxing and you are getting the genuine first experience here, so that includes plastic. We slip off the slip cover here. And you can see we have a plain, literally, plain black box. Great for storing it if you need discretion. And then we open it up. And it appears to come in this little sealed buddy. So you can see the Libazila there, the logo. This is a crinkly plastic, but it's very nice, very shiny. I'm going to be lazy and do it that way comes with silica gel to make sure everything, all your leather stays nice on its transit, on its little home journey to you. And then we end up with the wine red leather blindfold with a rose gold buckle. All nice and out of its packaging. Let me clear off the area here. So it's a nice leather blindfold. I really, really like this buckle. It matches really nicely with this red. Like, woo! I'm, I am totally into this. We can see that it goes into these holes in the back here to easily adjust for width of the head. It has the nice strap keeper here that I'll keep the strap in. It is a thin blindfold. There's no extra padding. As you can see, it's just a nice thin blindfold. However, that also means that you get like the nice central, this is a soft, nice leather. So you kind of get that kind of feeling on the eye side of things too. Normally companies will pad this side with something so you don't get to feel the leather, but it's, it's you get it on both sides here, which is really, really cool. We have the tag and we shall continue with our journey here. I really, really like that. Like, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Everything has to go back in the box, all right? I am very organized that way. So next, we're gonna pull this out, and just because it is like large and unlike everything else, I'm going to go ahead and say, I think this is the Wine Red Waist Belt. I think they call it a waist cuff. Again, we have the bubble wrap. It is, it is. And we have another layer of plastic protecting it. And also preventing this dominant from getting into it. Ooh, that's another nice soft leather. Oh. <laughs> that's so nice feeling. Oh. Okay, so this is a waist belt that can be fastened around someone's waist using, you can see we have two, I'm not gonna fasten them because I'm being lazy, but we have two different buckles and multiple points of adjustment. So you put this onto your whoever's bottoming, whoever's doing, receiving the bondage, you strap this onto them, it's A, gorgeous is all get out and B it's actually designed for bondage we can see we have on this side we have 
two sets of D-rings. And when we flip it over, we have a whole nother set of D-rings. So it's actually designed for bondage. You could clip, if somebody, if somebody's wearing this on their waist, you can clip uh, wrist cuffs to it. You could kit clip, you could really even clip like objects to them. <laughs> like I'm just now imagining this like heavy and like weighed down because I've clipped like all of my floggers onto them. <laughs> just like my mobile container. And I'm like super into this right now. So that's really cool. This is flipping gorgeous. It matches the uh, the blindfold really nicely. It also comes with this bag that goes in really nicely, pretty much exactly. It is a drawstring bag. So it will protect this from whatever's going on in your life. Mostly just dust though. It is just a small bag. Small thin drawstring bag made out of a faux satin material. Kind of like the stuff toys come in. It does have the brand here on the side, but this works as a really nice way to store this considering it doesn't come with a box like a lot of their other products do. To the side with you. Next, we're going to move on to another box. Again, nicely bubble wrapped, going to keep it safe in all of its journey. It did ship via, oh, this is a nice easier plastic, it did ship via DHL. You may be able to arrange a different shipping method. Wow, I'm terrible at this. Depending on what you need, DHL makes it just fine here, but I know it's not as common as some of the other shipping methods, especially in the US. There we go. Again, you're getting the unboxing. Like, I have not seen these yet. Phew. So, these are the wine red cuffs of some sort. I do not read this language. I am terribly monolanguaged in English. So, this is either wrist or ankle cuffs. I'm not sure of which. Again, cool little slip cover, just like we saw with the blindfold. Again, cool box, just like we saw with the blindfold. Voila! We have the Libezilla logo here again with the plastic nicely surrounding the cuffs. This is a really cute for gift giving. You could just wrap this up and it just looks really nice. And I've torn it. But the logo remains intact. I'd like to point this out. So we have the beautiful cuffs here. Come back. We have the beautiful cuffs here. We have the beautiful matching rose gold hardware. We again have the tag, handcrafted leather bondage, play safely with Japanese quality. We need the desiccant to make sure your leather comes back to you safely. Away with you. I'm going to guess these are the wrist cuffs, but I will actually get out the other set that's in here, which I think are the other set of cuffs. So these are a bit firm. I can tell that just from playing with them and looking at them, honestly. These are definitely stiff upon transit just because it looks like they use two layers of leather here. And this black layer is a very thick, stiff layer. Great for holding up to rough bondage, great for like holding its shape, but it will require some softening and usage in order to get it to just comfortably go into that circle shape. As you can see, it's very fond of the shape it came in. Pretty normal for leather cuffs, so not a huge deal in the slightest. You just might consider fastening this and storing it in a circular shape or around a circular object in order to get it to soften up and get into that circular shape you need it to. See, it's already starting to look better now that we fastened it. It's just muscle, mu muscle memory for leather. Um, we can see that it uses that nice double layer here all on the outside. It uses that same double layer actually on the strap that runs around it. So you have like a lot of thickness here, which is cool, it makes it hold it much, much better to rough play. It is shedding a little bit on my hands. I doubt the camera catches it, but it does shed a little baby bit. And we have the matching gold hardware to it that's really, really pretty. It is not a locking buckle, something to take note of. We do have the little strap keeper that I'm spoiled to strap is kept. They do have their logo here on the side. And come here plastic. Yeah. 
and 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 we have the matching gold hardware for the clasps matching gold beautiful oh, it's so pretty <laughs> it's so pretty i absolutely love it um this chain does not look like the strongest chain known to man i would not expect it to last forever if you're going to tug like a very very strong person i would not expect that to last forever however it's beautiful that it matches and I would just keep that into account, like keep that in mind when playing. If you'd like to keep that looking as gorgeous as you first got it, you need to not pull that so hard you'll break it. It's easily like strong enough. I don't want to just keep pulling, but it's easily, I'm, that's all my strength at the moment. <sighs> it's easily strong enough to walk around with this with like hands tied together pretty basic bondage stuff it's easily strong enough for all of that so if you're going for like the gorgeous visual that the matching rose gold combines with the wine red cuffs I would definitely make sure to play with it on the lighter side or decorative side it is strong but it is not going to be like your leg strength versus it it might lose so this is the other set of cuffs that's available in the wine red I'm again unsure of which is which at this point so we're going to open it and play comparison z's i've made like a verifiable pile of stuff at this point these appear to be the ankle and i think those must be the wrist then we again have the tags the silica and a little chain come here buddy interesting Chains are pretty much maybe exactly. No, I think they have one extra loop each. So the ankle side has one extra little loop on each side compared to the wrist side. Not a whole lot of difference, actually, all things considered. I would not try walking while wearing that. That is for dang sure. So let's get this one all nicely tightened up. Come on, little buddy. Again, very, very stiff cuffs. We knew that going in, especially after the uh, other cuffs. So very, very stiff. Make sure you know that. I'm actually trying to get this on the tightest setting, but I may lose this battle. Actually due to design of the cuff. But it'll be close. It will be close. Come here. I may lose this. Okay. I lost that battle. I'm going to accept that as the failure. So this is as tight as I can get it for the ankles. And this one, we're going to go with as loose as I can get it for the ankles. And make it into a circle because it is very flat at this point and it's quite happy about that. So we have as tight as I can get it. It actually has three more that you could tighten it even further. But I'm running into the bottom part. That's because I did it wrong. That's why I'm running into that. This is the beauty you get when I unbox things. I don't know what the heck's going on. So you get to watch as I don't know what's going on too. I switched the sides. So this was running into the rivet here on the side. But if you do it properly and not the way I did it, and the cuff feels like curling up today, we should be able to get it tighter. I don't know who has an ankle this tight. I'm actually like impressed if your ankle is this small. But just in case it is, I'm totally gonna make sure you know about this. So those are our two differences in sizes, these little ankle guys. So we have thicker, wider ankle, we have smaller wrist. Let's do the wrist ones for comparison. This one's almost all the way loose, so I'm just going to go ahead and loosen it up a little bit more. Come on, play with me today. Again, the things you get watching me unbox things for the first time. That's all the way loose. Let's make sure I don't make the exact same mistake I did on the other side. These will definitely play a lot nicer with you once you loosen them up 
any leather cuff, especially with this many layers for like rough play durability, is going to be this intense when you first get them out of the box. There are some places that make softened leather ones. I'm, this is not even all the way tight, but it is as tight as I'm going to fight with it at the moment. So we have wrist to ankle, wrist to ankle. Relatively similar, honestly. I can definitely tell the difference in the widest points, ankle-wise versus wrist-wise. Like I think, yeah, this fits inside a little bit better. Like it'll fit inside. So it's definitely a little bit of a difference, but it's not a huge difference. Anyway, they're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And let me make sure I keep like them separate so I can box these appropriately for review purposes. All right. Final thing on the list. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to empty the box here. It is this, whatever this is. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Let's find out. Oh, it's two things. Maybe? Two? Yeah. There's two things. Okay. I was wrong. There's two things to go through still. Alright. I wrote down what these were, which is good because I do not read any language but English. Cool. So, this one right here, let's start with first. This, after we pull it out of the plastic, appears to come with a drawstring bag. Ooh! And a shiny leash. This is going to go ahead and be the pink leather with D-rings and a metal chain leash. So let's like check this stuff out. I'm actually, I'm actually not sure if tissue paper is recyclable. So we're going to put that in the recyclable and find out later. So this is freaking gorgeous. This is a beautiful pink collar with a matching leash, all with the rose gold metal, which is amazing. I love it. This has three D-rings to it. Beautiful, beautiful. It's much, much softer. Like, it's much softer and, like, more flexible leather than the red wine red set was so this like bends into shape really really nicely without much of an issue this is very very pretty oh my this the leather here is so supple it's ridiculous i just want to pet this this is so supple oh my goodness all right you gotta fasten those supple leather so that is as small as it goes the three, wing, three ring pink collar here. That's as small as it goes. You can see we have the three D rings as well. Very, very pretty. We have a lot of adjustment points left, like a lot of them. It's worth noting that this doesn't have a locking buckle as well, but it does still have that matching rose gold hardware that is like, oh my God, it is so pretty. And let's get it as loose as it will go. That's as loose as it will go. It's actually pretty wide. So if anybody's curious about how pro level I am at videos, that totally just shut off on me. I apparently forgot to change the battery. So with that in mind, this is gorgeous. Just, I don't, I don't know how much I can blather on about it because it's really, really pretty. With that in mind, let's look at all of them. Oh, that feels so good. I'm like super into how they do some of their accessories. Like, oh, that is such a nice leather. It is ridiculous. So is this blindfold though. It's so soft. It is so soft. I don't, I'm going to make a mess of everything and I'm trying not to. 
And we have these. These are the wrist cuffs because I put the chain on so I'd remember. Just like everything they sell is just so pretty. And we have the ankle cuffs. Like, oh. I really like that a lot of what they sell you can use right away. Like the wrist cuffs and the ankle cuffs can just be like instantly connected. And you already have a set for bondage. Like that's all you needed to do. You don't need extra accessories for any part of it, which is cool. So let's just poke around at the colors. Oh, those colors are gorgeous. You cannot tell me those colors are not like beautiful. I love these colors. I love the matching hardware. Just like the quality is beautiful. They're a little stiff. I will definitely say that all of the cuffs are stiff. I think you're going to want to wrap them around something circular and let them sit for a while. I highly recommend if you have a play partner or partner who is your like primary person who's going to wear these, figure out what size your partner needs for their wrists or ankles and then select something that's that exact size. Um, leather can get some like memory into it where it'll just kind of like remember how it's been curled up. So you don't want to get it memory, you don't want to give it the memory of something that's not the person who's going to be wearing it all the time. So if you have like some one person who's going to be wearing this, definitely figure out their size and store it in the circle of their size just to help it remember that it's supposed to be a circle. These are beautiful. Like, like that's just, it's just straight up. These are Libe Zila, just straight up. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. They look like they're going to hold up perfectly for play. I'm really, really excited to start playing with them, get like some reviews done on these because these are so pretty. Uh, this, oh, and this pink, and this red, I, I don't, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> it's all too pretty. Um, I hope you end up picking up some of this stuff because it's all really gorgeous, really functional, and all of it's designed to work with whatever kink or bondage ideas you already have in mind. Like, this has the D-ring, has D-ring, will travel, really? Like, a D-ring and a snap clip will get you everywhere. <laughs> like, I'm having a hard time thinking of some sort of, like, position you couldn't do with just those two things. Like, it's, I'm in love with all of this. I am in love with absolutely all of this. I have like virtually nothing bad to say besides they're a little stiff. You're going to want to like soften them up yourself after you get them, which is nice because it means the leather doesn't really have any memory in it. You get to like kind of put your own folds and bends in it, which is kind of cool. It'll like match your body. And then you get that like super soft leather feel after years of using something and you love it and... Anyway, these are beautiful. I absolutely love them. I'm going to get ready to review all these and let you know more about them. But you can check these out at LibeZilla. I will post the links below and give you more links and information below down in the video notes. Thanks for checking this out.